Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. In today's video, what we are simply going to do is designing a logo in Canva, okay? And while we do that, we'll be covering all of the important things we need to consider when it comes to logo designs, all right? So if this is something you are interested in, look, let's dive straight into the video. Now, some of the things we need when it comes to logo design is colors and text, okay? Plus, you know, the vibe and um, all the things. Those are the advanced things you need to consider when it comes to designing a logo or even creating a brand in general, okay? But this video only focuses on logo design. So, we are going to first of all choose some colors, okay? So, the first website I want you to visit is canva.com forward slash colors, okay? If you come to forward slash colors, this is what you would see, okay? Then make sure you're coming in to color palette ideas all right so once you come in here there are so many color palettes you can choose from and we are going to be designing you know a non-profit logo for this video all right i think this would work okay this would work for me but for you make sure you are choosing any color palette of your choice okay so i'll just click on it and it should open very very nice now we can see that we have the color codes in here to make it very easy for us in getting the colors but what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using the snippet tool to screenshot this okay so i'll just click on new and you can see i've just screenshotted what i have in here and i can come into canva okay the dimension i'm using is 500 by 500 that's for logo okay so if i come into home and click on create a design if i search for logo you can see that we have it over here okay so once you choose it you should get this dimension so i'm going to paste the you know the screenshot over here very easy and very simple the second thing we want to choose is our font which font do we want to use for a non-profit i think a sans serif font would work well and my favorite is poppins because i feel like poppins is a very cool font so that's what i'm going to use but if you are not a fan of poppins or there's a special font you want to use i have some websites you can um, visit okay the first one is fonts.google okay we have so many fonts in here and you can always go to to you know find fonts download them and upload them to canva and take note that you can only upload fonts in canva if you are on the pro version okay on the free version you can't but on the pro version it's possible all right then there's also i think 1001 font okay yeah that's another font website you can you know choose so you can also go here there are so many fonts you can always choose and download and upload in canva but make sure you are using the font that have commercial license okay or are free to use for commercial purposes all right yeah now back to canva so the first thing i need us to do is to come to element and element i want us to search for arc okay so arc and we can see what we have in here so we can use this one okay i think it's a quarter of a circle that's what i want and i don't know if <laughs> i mentioned it properly duplicate it okay and flip okay nice one over there all right then we can also select all and let's reduce the size a little bit okay then we can duplicate this and bring it here and I think we can just flip them vertically, all right? So this is what we have at the moment. I don't know if we are getting it correct, all right? So yeah, because it's just not matching. So I think we have to use our arrow keys. Thank God for the one who invented the arrow keys, okay? So this is what we have at the moment. Delete this part of it, okay? And that's all you need to do. And we just have to create more spacing, all right? So I'll just do one, two, three, okay? And for the bottom one, I'll do the same. One, two, three. Okay, so that we are making sure the spacing is even. But I think this spacing is more than this. Okay, so let me just increase it a little bit. Okay, I think it's good right now. So this is what we have at the moment. Now, I'm going to change the colors. So I'll select this one, come to color, and we'll use the color picker to choose, you know, this color, the red or the chili pepper. The second one, we come over here, the color picker, to choose the pink, okay? And I think I'll leave this to yellow, okay? Yeah, I think that's fine. Then press C on your keyboard to add a circle and reduce the size, okay? And the whole concept is for people hugging each other, all right? So we have this and we'll just position it here. Put this one also over here. 
and bring this one also over here. Then this, I'll also make it red. This one will also match the color. This would, you know, be the same color we have in here. So you can see what we have at the moment. Very simple and very easy. Now we can group them all, all right? The next thing I want us to do is to add you know our text so you can press t on your keyboard to add a text and i said i was going to use poppins okay and that's the text that had been selected for us okay so poppins will just increase it like this and i will just say mark and spencer okay no or warner and spencer okay let's assume that's the name we want to use so that's the name we'll bring it in here okay and we would also just tuck it in. Another thing we need to do is to reduce the spacing and change the alignment. Okay, nice one there. Then we would increase the size. Okay, so you can see how we are doing this. Very, very nice. And I would also make it bold. Okay, yeah, so that the main text stands out and I'll you know decrease this a little bit now we want to ensure the spacing or the alignment is correct okay let me tag this in and put it here so we are going to be using the ruler okay so I'm going to position let me zoom in quickly okay so I'll position this here okay position this one also here all right then we are going to position this here and also position this here okay so that it helps us with our arrangement okay yeah so i'm going to just move this up a little bit all right uh -huh. very very beautiful so if you don't have the ruler you can just press shift r okay shift and r to show the rulers okay yeah, so we've done our correct um, alignment here. Then we can just duplicate this and I will remove the bold effect from it. And I will duplicate this as well. And we can just say Mark and Spencer in a non-profit organization. Okay, non-profit organization to so organization. All right. And one thing is, you know, there's so much space over here, which I don't think is the best. So what we can do to fix it is increasing the text, okay, and uh, to fill that space. And I think it's now looking better, all right? So we can just delete this, okay? And this can be our main logo, all right? So I can just group everything together. Now we can create various variations of this logo, okay? So what we can do is, the other variation we can duplicate this page okay and the mark and spencer what am i saying mark and spencer so the text over here okay can come to the bottom it can come down here all right and we can have the final version of this okay we can have the fourth person over here so i'll flip okay and flip and flip wow so you can see, I didn't know I have mastered the flips. <laughs> okay, so I can position him here and we can use the cyan color for him. Okay, so I'll add it back and we'll just use the cyan color for this. Okay, so we use the color picker, choose cyan and make this the same. Okay, yeah, and I think we can finally delete this. Then we can select it and center it. Okay, position this here, center the text. All right, and we can also position this here and center the text. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment and we've centered everything. I think it's looking very clean. Let me also group this one, position and okay, everything is centered. So I don't know why my eyes is, make, is looking like things are not centered. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. Okay, so this is the second variation. The third one is the symbol alone for logos and all of that okay so we can just make this bigger okay very nice then we are going to also create the black and white versions of it so let's assume it has to go black and white and all you know those things so you can just select everything change the color to black okay and with these ones behind everything is just going to take the same black color okay yeah so let me do this quickly 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 all right then we have another one okay to so duplicate and with this one 
the background will be what black and the logo itself will be white okay so let's change all of this to white okay so white amazing so we can see what we have been able to do over here the next thing i want us to focus on is creating mockups okay mockups for this particular logo so what we are going to do is first of all canva has some mockups in here so make sure you're going to your apps there's so many apps i have opened over here so i'm going to take my time and search for apps and over here we can just search for mock up okay so mock up all right and we have it over here so choose mock up and we can see there are so many mock ups in here but this is just a logo okay i can't just slap the logo on this it might not look cool okay so for this one as an example okay it's a non-profit and definitely they might have tote bags and cups and all those things so we can just do that after we've downloaded this okay so let's download our logos first come to share come to download and make sure for the first option transparent background is checked on okay and this is a canva pro feature i believe so okay then we'll download all the pages so now that we've been able to create the logos and download the logo files what we are going to do next is we are going to create the mockups okay but we will create a new canvas and import the logo files all right so let's do that right now so all you can do is come to create a design and you can choose presentation okay so presentation and it should open for you we can see what we have at the moment all right now we want to add our logos in here and i will make another video on how to present your logos okay and that's where we'll create brand guides and all of those things so watch out for that video all right and if you haven't subscribed make sure you are subscribing so you get notified when the video is up okay this is only focusing on the logo design aspect the next video i would create it would come up um, soon i'll teach you how to present your logos okay by that time i'm sure you already have your logos created already all right so i'll see you in that video so coming back over here let's create the mockups okay so i came to apps and i searched for mock apps okay so mockups in here then we just have to select the mockups and we can see there's so many mockups in here so we came to house sorry home and living okay and i choose this one because this looks realistic i think yeah this looks realistic okay and you can see that it's requiring that we insert our image so this is where we would come into canva you know these are the logo files and we are first of all going to upload them in canva okay so let's upload them first of all in canva lovely lovely jubbly all right so this is we can slap this one but i think the main logo should go on every mockup okay the main logo should go where on every mockup you can see we have it over here now let's check on another mock-up so we are back in here then would i still want us to focus over here and i would want us to add you know the tote bag okay so let's add that as well would we'll increase the size okay then we can come into our uploads okay and just upload any of the logo files in it so that it picks the shape of uh -huh. so we can see what we have i think the logo looks very clean it actually looks very clean but we can modify it okay so once you click on the image okay or the mock-up image make sure you're coming back to mock-ups okay so i'll go back into mock-ups and it should give me the opportunity to adjust my image if i like it i can just you know choose smart crop okay for it to crop it properly for me and apply the changes okay once i'm done why not i think this looks beautiful and that is with it so this is how to create mock-ups with canva but you know the mockups in canva is limited okay there are just a few options in here what if you want to take it to the next level to create all sort of mockups that you feel like would impress your clients or would give you a sense of satisfaction how can you do that there are a few websites you can actually check out for logo mockups the first one is free pick one that's one of the most popular logo brand okay and another one i have been using for some time now which i find very interesting is um ls you know ls.graphics all right and over here you will get some beautiful mockups okay logo mockups and all that so you can see we have some of the mockups here 
But what is always sweet is that once you search for logo mockup online, okay, online, you are going to get so many logo mockups, okay, very, very beautiful logo mockups. And mockup tree is definitely one of them, okay. So you can also come here to search for your logo mockups and you know download the one that suits you. So let's go back into free pick and I'm basically going to choose, let's say, this one for an example, okay. So let's download it and yeah that's all so you can see it's being downloaded now as we wait for it to download there's a website we are going to use or an app a free app we are going to use to apply these mockups okay and i'm going to show you how to use it it's more of like photoshop but it's free all right and the name of the app is photopia okay so just come your browser and search for photopia.com it should open okay and once it opens there's something you know it comes with a plain boring look and all that but look it's still cool like i said this is how it looks like and it takes photoshop files illustrator files xd figma sketch pdf raw or any files at all it's able to handle it okay so let's open the file all right so i'm going to right click and extract the logo okay then what i'm going to do is i have to search for the photoshop file drag and drop it into photopia.com and we can see it's opened all right so it's saying replace the screen all right so replace the screen if you double click usually when it comes to mockup you should always search for you know the layer that says replace this or replace this image or something that's what you have to replace okay so you can see as i double click we have replaced this logo so I can double click and that is the logo in here. So this is the reason why we even created, you know, the black and white version of it. You know, so I can just drop this one over here and this is what we have at the moment. So we'll reduce the size. Okay. Yeah. And one thing about Photoshop or, you know, even Photopia is that once you add the logo and you click away, it will be very difficult for you to select it again okay it's challenging sometimes but what you just have to do is that come to edit i believe so and transform okay you should see something like you know the scale sometimes you would have free transform yeah that's the free transform okay and you can move things around so i'll just delete this one and leave this in here then i can save it okay once i save it it should say smart object updated when i come into you know the main mockup you can see we have it here how beautiful this is i hope you enjoyed it i hope you had fun look i have a vibrant community that gets to have you know monthly workshops and i want to invite you to join the you know the community so make sure you're checking it out in the description box below the name is benjamin watch out for the next video it's coming up very soon i will see you in my next video peace